everybody, Alien Neely here from Alien 3D, and today I'm going to talk to you about upgrading your ANET A8 for safety and structural integrity. So recently I got my second ANET A8, and about a week before I received it, there was another report of a house that burnt down or the at least the the printing room had burnt down because the ANET A8 caught fire and in my opinion this is very preventable um, my second ANET A8 I, I didn't go all out on like I did with my first one um, not upgrading it to the metal frame or anything like that uh, keeping it as stock as possible but there are some simple things that you can do to prevent it from burning down your house and also some very minor structural integrity upgrades that you can 3D print yourself and make your frame a bit stronger so that your prints come out better. So I'm going to go over those with you today. Um, the first thing that anybody should do after putting together their ANA A8 for the first time is upgrade the firmware. One problem with the stock ANA A8 firmware is that the thermal runway is... Is it runway or runaway? It's probably runaway, but it's turned off for some reason. But if you upgrade your Marlin or upgrade your firmware to Marlin, it's a pretty simple process. You just need a, a laptop or your computer to connect to your ANA A8 through the USB cord and flash it with the ANA A8 settings. Uh, there are some tweaks that you may need to make if you um, want to adjust your PID or your steps on your motors after you calibrate your filament but for the most part the very first time you want to upgrade your firmware it, it's really easy you download Marlin you copy the configuration files from the ANA A8 folder to the main folder you open up the Marlin uh, it's a Arduino file right I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment but you open it in the Arduino program and you hook up your printer to your laptop or whatever, your computer, and, and just up, upload the Marlin software to your motherboard. And I will put a link down below the video for instructions exactly on how to do that. But I'm going to try to make this a, a quick and simple video um, just to do a quick overview but still cover all the basics. Now when you're first building your ANET A8, if it's your first and only printer, you're not going to be able to do the structural upgrades at first because you need to put your ANET A8 together first, print out the parts, disassemble part of your printer, and then put it back together with the, the upgrades. So first I'm going to go over the safety upgrades which are electronics based and you can get those, I for this one, I for less than $60. Um, I got everything I needed that or everything I wanted to do to upgrade the rest of the electronic safety features. So the first thing we're going to talk about, um, don't know why the ANA A8 doesn't come with a power switch, but you can get a power switch super cheap off of Amazon. And again, everything I'm going to be using on my printer, I will put links to below the video or on my website for you to find. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all the parts that I use to upgrade as far as the electronics go. So like I said, the first upgrade I'm going to talk about is the power switch. It is pretty cheap on Amazon. This one is fused and it also comes with the fuse when you order it. Um, simple power on off switch, power plug in, and this printed part is off of Thingiverse. And basically it's pretty simple. A lot of people solder the wires on. I just used crimp connectors. And you basically take your negative from here to here, your positive from here to here, and then this ground goes to your PSU, this positive goes to your PSU, and the negative goes to your PSU. And it's super simple to hook up there. You'll see my hotbed wires there. And that's the only thing I have hooked up right now. I'll probably add fans later. The second thing I will talk about is the wires on the bed. Now, my first ANA A8 only came with wires that had four wires on the connectors. 
and these were the the outer ones and the center ones that go to the thermistor now this a actually came with six wires which was an upgrade i planned on doing anyways but i will post pictures of how i did my connectors on my first a8 but i highly suggest using the six wire that way the full power is going to your bed but it splits the current to the hotbed which is better as far as preventing the overheating of the wires because the the current is split um, one printed part i highly suggest for this this will keep your wires once i get it in here i'm just going to use some zip strips and i'll post a picture of that too and basically you zip strip your wires into this printed part here and this stops these wires from moving as your bed is moving back and forth and i actually on my first a8 purposely let it go for a while until the sides started turning black and i will show you that but that is super simple to do is just print it apart no problem keeps the wires from moving uh, keeps the friction down and should prevent this part from catching on fire as it does with the the four wire systems without any kind of uh, secured wires but as I said, I had planned on doing the six wires, but it came like that, so I was already happy. And then as far as any other safety upgrades electronically, there's one more that I will show you. Hang on, i got to move something out of the way. I apologize. And my... something just crashed. Anyway, so we're going to get down here. Now the third thing I suggest, besides the wires and the power cord, and the A-Net has a lot of wires, <laughs> but if you look in here, this is a MOSFET, and I will post a picture of how I hooked this up, but essentially these two wires here come from directly from the PSU, and then these wires here go to the bed. And as you can see, it's got two of the red wires and two of the black wires coming from the same hookup. And the A-Net that I ordered just came like that, which, which was awesome. And then this is the signal wire that normally your power wires go to for the hotbed. But instead, you put the signal wire in here, and that will manage the power for your hotbed and keeps the current out of the motherboard which is a good thing because the motherboards have been known to overheat there at the hotbed and catch on fire as well. Um, so besides that, that's really the only electronics upgrades I have done on this. Um, for the people who do not have the four wire systems, I highly suggest, I'm sorry, six wires, I highly suggest going to a six wire or some people solder the wires to the bed and some people just buy different fittings for the bed so that you can detach and, and still uh, reattach your wires because if you solder the wires to the bed it, it makes it hard to perform maintenance because you have no way to disconnect the wires so as far as that oh one more thing um, if you're gonna do the upgrade to the six wire system or replace the wires to your hotbed Make sure, I personally use 14 gauge, some people say 16 gauge is good, but make sure you get the silicone uh, sheathed wire because it's more heat resistant. So, man, it's hot in here, I'm sweating. Don't even have any printers going. Anyway, so um, that's really it as far as the safety features. Uh, number one, I mean, like I said, just upgrade your firmware to Marlin and that will at least give you the thermal runaway protection and when your hotbed or your uh, hot end just go wacky, the temperatures go wacky, Marlin will automatically shut those off and stop the print. Um, now we'll go into the structural integrity of the A8 because it is an acrylic frame and it has a lot of wobble to it when it's stock. But like I said, if you only have one printer, you're gonna have to put it together first and print out these parts. Um, if you have a second printer, 
just print out the parts on your second printer. It's either way, you're good. All right, so as far as the structural portion of this, um, these braces here are actually four parts. There's two parts on this side and two parts on this side. And basically, it's an arm that supports this top part and then also supports the x-axis that comes down here. And this actually will screw in to part of the acrylic frame. And I think this is a great upgrade. You'll see here, I had trouble getting the, the screws and stuff in here aligned right. So I broke this tab off on both sides and it made it a heck of a lot easier. Um, so this, as far as keeping your x-axis from moving a lot, it really helps a lot. And I'll put a link to that. It's, I believe, called the Hulk on uh, Thingiverse. And then the second thing is this front y-axis frame support. And this is this portion here. And this helps your y-axis from wobbling. Uh, third part is this is the y-belt tensioner. Now, I got toothed idlers off of Amazon and also upgraded belts, which will help with your printing and last the allows your belts to last longer if, if you upgrade them. These are the G2 uh, fiberglass reinforced. But my idlers were too big to fit in here, so I had to take my Dremel and Dremel it out. And then we also have the X-axis uh, belt tensioner, which is an also must upgrade to keep your X-axis belt tight. As you can see, I don't have the belt on here because I wanted to show you the idler. Um, again, the idler I purchased was too wide for this portion. So I had to take, actually it was too tall and too wide. So I had to take my Dremel and Dremel that out. Um, but this is great. I've got it on my first A8. And then as far, oh wait, nope, got one more. This is another, the back part of a, the Y support. And this just screws right into where your Y motor is. And then the center acrylic frame, it pops up underneath there. And that also keeps your Y axis more sturdy. And as far as structural integrity, that's all I got for you. Again, I, I suggest upgrading your idlers instead of the smooth idlers. Go to the toothed idlers and then upgrade your belts to a fiberglass reinforced GT2 belt. And as far as ease of use to just make things easier for you while you're printing, I've got a couple more upgrades for you. This will hold your wire. You don't have to get this specific one, but I highly suggest uh, some kind of uh, guide up here for your wire so it's not rubbing against here. Unless you're going to mount your filament up here, which I do not suggest because with the movement of your printer, the extra weight up here will just compound the movement or whatever and um, add more wobble to your print. Uh, another thing, I suggest a filament guide here. Because if you look, that part there where that hole is, I'll try to focus a little bit, um, your filament will rub against that and dust off. Um, it'll cause a bit of a, a filament dust to scrape off there and fall into your extruder. Um, another upgrade, you don't, as long as your fan is blowing directly into the extruder, you don't need the heat sink. You really don't. Um, but basically this fan is to cool off the heat break to keep your filament uh, from getting too hot too high and causing jams. Um, so if you get this fan holder here, when you want to feed your filament, it's a pain in the butt sometimes. So you can just take this fan off, feed your filament, get the gears right, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that kind of printed kind of messy. Um, my overhang fan wasn't turned up. But uh, this just allows your fan to slide in and out and still blow directly onto your extruder. And then we will come over here. Oh, sorry for blocking that. 
I'll come over here and this is a upgrade for your Z end stop. And shouldn't just be moving one side. Uh, let me hang on. I gotta level those off anyways. But uh, this Z end stop here, it just connects to your X motor mount and has, I actually need a longer bolt here for better adjustments. Or I may just back it off some, see how far my uh, hot end has room. But this will come down and hit your Z-stop. I also took the metal part off to give it a little more uh, accuracy. And then that part comes, just attaches to the frame. But this is an adjustable, adjustable Z-axis end stop so that when you change out your hot end or... You need, after you re-level your battery stuff, um, when you change out your nozzle, uh, whatever, you, you don't always get everything just right. And you don't always want to be screwing with your bed if it, you know it's already leveled. So I think the Z-axis adjustment helps a lot because if you want to raise or lower where your, uh, your nozzle stops above the bed... The adjustable z-axis makes everything way easier um so as far as safety and structural upgrades ooh, i have one more hang on sorry one more ease of use upgrade you don't have to use these ones specific there are quite a few on thingiverse but these are little knobs that your wing nuts go into that allow you to easy more easily adjust the height without just using the wing nuts because those can be a pain in the ass when this is up here and this is up here and you gotta reach and the back corners are the biggest pain in the butt to adjust those so adding those knobs is a huge help now that i think is my final suggested upgrade uh, for making the a8 safer and stronger for when you're printing um i i think that if if you Use your stock A8 and to print some stuff out and then you make these structural upgrades and then print them again. I can almost guarantee you, you will have better prints. Um, so, I think that's about all I got for you today. Um, trying to get some sponsors and, and get some other stuff that I have planned done. Uh, in the meantime, over the next couple weeks, I'm going to work on my Robot Dragon uh, it's, I did some Arduino testing to, I, I first made the dragon out of popsicle sticks and I got a lot of movement done and the motors done and a lot of the Arduino work done. Um, but I, my whole purpose of buying my first 3d printer was so I could make my 3d robot dragon. And, uh, that was like three, four months ago now. Um, so I want to get back to that, um, Arduino powered 3d robots. 3D printed robot steampunk dragon. Um, coming soon. Look for it. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe to my channel. Support me on Patreon would be awesome. And I, I'll try to get some more models up and get some more tutorials up. And um, I'm new. Cut me some slack. <laughs> I hope you don't hate on me too much. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this video. Peace out.